But just before I move to the topic, I would like to invite you to join our community of architects. It's free to join and we also have free Revit training there. Access link is in a video description. I've got a question from one of the students in my community and it's been about creating running bone tiles as a procedural material in Revit, but with having the texture which is seamless. And what she got was something like this. And you can see that we have this kind of the repetition. And by the way, this is the result. Something like this was something she wanted to get. So what is the problem with this material? I mean, it's quite simple. So if I just go here to manage materials and if I open this Architezi tiles one, so you see that this was created as a tile. So this is procedural map. And then inside that procedural map, we have the texture file added as image. And that texture file is 600 by 300 millimeters, but it still creates this kind of the, uh, you see, it's not seamless. So the problem in this case is because this is a running bond, uh, running bond. So if I just go here to, let's say, stack bond, and if I click OK, everything will look fine in this case. So how I got this one and what you need to do in this case. So for that, I will just open Photoshop. In Photoshop, I created this, this file size to be 1.2 thousand pixels by 1.2 thousand pixels. So let's say 1.2 by 1.2 meters. And then I will just go here to file and then I'm gonna place this texture. And then I will just, let's say, place this te that texture to stay to stay like this here. So I will actually, I will just move it till the end. And by the way, if I just, uh, if you take a look, so this is what, I, what I'm going to do right now is just to create running bond, uh, running bond style from this texture. And I will just make this one to be, uh, I will rasterize this one, so Let's copy it here. Of course, you can rotate it if you want to make it uh, to be more, more randomized. And then I'm just going to copy all of that. And I'm actually going to create. So you see here, I made a mistake. Uh, I need to be precise with this one. Uh, in this case, what I'm doing is actually I'm creating running bone style out of this texture and that running mode style is going to be 1.2 by 1.2 meters. So I also need to bring this down a little bit. So this is fine. And then I will, I will select those two and then copy them here as well. And then I have to copy those three one more time and then what I will do, I'm just going to here save as and then I will go to export and I'm going to export this one as let's say Architezi 04. Then let's go to Revit and then in Revit I will just go back here to materials and then I will go to this Architezi tiles so I will go back here to the running bond and then you see that we have 1.2 by 1.2 meters. Then I have two of them here and then three in height, which means that one size, uh, one, one, uh, this means that one tile is 600 by 300. And then we'll go to image. So now for image, I will just increase sample size to 1.2 by 1.2 meters. And for a source, I will take this Architezi 04. So let's click OK. OK. And you see how it looks like. So still we have this kind of repetition. And the reason here is pretty simple. So we are going to solve it, you will see, in a, in a, a very quickly. So what's the reason? How you can determine what was the problem? Just go here to Materials again. Go to this Architezi Tiles 01. And then when we open this one, we need to just make this a little bit bigger. So what I have done actually in, in Photoshop was that I started actually from here. So I started with a full, full tiles, but they're starting with a half. So I will just go back to Photoshop and then I will, 
I will delete all those here and I will start from half with this one. So let's zoom in this. And then let's copy this one. And as I said, like if you want, we can we can maybe rotate it for 90 degrees. So we can make it more randomized and let's say then I'm going to make this one here. So let's save as this one. So export it. And let's call this one as RKTZ Texture 05. Let's go back to Revit. And now in Revit, I will just replace texture. So I'm going to place this one RKTZ 05. Let's click OK. Apply. And then you see how it looked like, how it's randomized, and it was, I hope, quite simple to fix it and to adjust it. I really hope that you're going to find this one useful. This is a very useful topic. And if you're willing to support ArchiTZ to continue creating content more often, you can do that by joining to our ArchiTZ Plus group.